Ben Freeman. And I'm Jennifer Freeman. Uh, so, it probably starts where uh, we had our first son a few years ago, three years ago. Um, I started going to a different coffee shop. And I'd go there almost every weekend and it just really didn't, it didn't have a good feel to it. You go in, you get your coffee, they just kind of make it and give it to you and you're out, out the door. And I just never really felt um, anything special. And then our old daycare used to be around in this area. So uh, I would do the drop off in the morning for daycare and I'd take them and I'd pass by and oh, okay, look, different coffee shop, let me try it out. And almost immediately it felt, it felt different. It felt warm, it felt welcoming. It felt like there was a true connection being made. Ironically, it's, I started coming here as soon as the shop opened, but I didn't realize it. I just thought it was here the whole time. Uh, we just didn't make it down to Old Hilliard that often. And I met um, Nate and Sharon through Ben. <laughs> He's like, I found this great local coffee shop. I'm like, okay, perfect, let's go. Like, let's try <laughs> something new. I'm always looking for it. Um, so we ended up coming here, and then that's when I met um, Nate and Sharon, and just there was just a connection. Um, great people, and you know, Ben was excited, like we were looking for some new opportunities to try new things in our life as well. And then we heard about the, the new Gateway location, so we're like, okay, well maybe it's something we could help out with and see what we could do. So that was kind of the bringing together of where I really got to meet um, Nate and Sharon for the first time. It was probably about nine months to a year after coming to Coffee Connections was when I made the actual connection that you guys donated your tips. When I, the, when I came to that realization, that's when it, it hit home, it, you know, it really hit home for me, that wow, you know, they're doing more than just, this is more than just a business, they're, they're, they're giving back, and immediately I just started upping my tips a lot more, because I'm like, this is great, it's going to charity, big cause, not that I wouldn't have before, <laughs> right. right? but it's just, it really, it humbled me, and that was when we started to reach out to Nate and Sharon to just really connect on more of a personal basis as opposed to just being a customer and a business owner. Mm -hmm. And that's when we started coming in and we're like, yeah, leave a tip for whatever amount because it's going, you know, you know what it's going for and it just mm -hmm. shows um, just how you guys give back and that was yeah. kind of like yeah. what really hit home to me is like we've been very fortunate in our life and we saw like someone that we could connect with on the same level mm -hmm. and that we knew were doing good in the community right. and giving back to people and it was something that's like, yeah, we want to be part of that. We really kind of brought it home was when we met in yeah. the other room, and just you, you were you were talking, Nate, and it just I was captivated just by a lot. <laughs> no, I was really I was drawn in by what you were saying, and I think after we had spoke, I, immediately I was sold, but I knew I had to do more soul searching and and try to think of things logically, but I thought, no, their heart is in the right place. Right. To me, this feels right. Oh, At the end yeah. of the day, every, everything's going to be great. This, you know, it's a great place, great business, and it's ran very well. Well, and you talked to us, too, about, like, make sure we're lined up on the same page and everything else. You're like, you know, you just don't want to throw all your apples, in, you know, into one thing. And, like, right. it kind of was like, yeah, he's right. Like, he knows, you know, how to run a business, how to do things, and it just put it into perspective of, like, okay, what do we really want? What do we value? Mm -hmm. um, things like that. But, no, I just, just really, if you guys could just kind of keep doing what you're doing, but, but also... You know, we still keep going down that path of where you're working with uh, not-for-profit organizations, the community, the different churches, um, and even now you you host a lot of like the Waffle Bar. We love that. Or uh, there's um, different uh, art classes or or, you know, or children classes. Uh, I, I think those are great. You know, to having that sort of that business-to-business -business relationship that you guys have. So for me, it's just really just strengthening that and. I'm more curious to see what's next, you know, what's the next creative idea that you guys can come up with along those lines. And how we can be a part of it to help yeah. out. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Oh. Come here, what's wrong? <laughs>